Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for April 20th of 2024 is titled Diamonds in the Sky. So what do we see here? Well, here we see three images from the solar eclipse that occurred on April the 8th. And the three images show at the center the total solar eclipse phase. And there you can see that the entire surface of the sun is blocked out by the moon. So that dark circle is our moon sitting right in front of the sun. Now what we see around the moon is actually the atmosphere of the sun that we call the corona. So that surrounds the sun and it's always there, but you can't see it because it's so much fainter than the rest of the sun. So when the sun is out, it completely overwhelms it with the glare and the extreme brightness of the sun itself. However, during an eclipse, when it's blocked out, the corona becomes visible. Now the two images to the upper left and lower right show what we call the diamond ring effect. And that is just those instants right before total eclipse and right after total eclipse. And those occur when only a very tiny part of the sun's surface is visible around the edge of the moon. And it gives the illusion of perhaps a diamond ring with the ring of the atmosphere of the sun still visible around the moon. And that's because not enough of the sun is quite visible yet. But that extremely bright portion being the diamond glowing very bright there. And you can see it in both of these images both right before and right after the total phase of the eclipse. So this is an effect that would occur in any total eclipse, but you'd have to have a total eclipse to see it. So unless you were on the path of totality, this kind of thing would not have been visible. Now, while a total solar eclipse is really not super rare, to find one in any specific location is. So a total solar eclipse will occur relatively often. And by often, I mean that there's possibilities of them occurring at two points during each year. And usually somewhere in the world, a total solar eclipse will occur every year or so. But that's somewhere in the world. And of course, most of our Earth is covered by water, meaning that the paths of a lot of total solar eclipses would occur over water and not be visible to those on land. So when one like this last one occurred that went across major population centers, it was a chance for a lot of people to see a total solar eclipse and something that generally in any specific area may not happen for hundreds of of years. So that was our picture of the day for April 20th of 2024. It was titled Diamonds in the Sky. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Perijove 16. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.